Hey foodie friends, I went to a place I haven't been to in quite a while, is a 7-Eleven store, to actually get something to eat. So I'm going to try all these different things that I got today, and let's see how it is. They've got just about everything you need. you got your ATM machine, you even have worms to go fishing with. Or you might need some sunglasses so you can see when you're fishing, or some gift cards. Or go ahead and try your hand at the lottery. This all looks good, but this is what I'm here for. The sandwiches, some cold and hot foods, and then maybe grab a bag of some kind of snacks. Hmm, I thought Kirkland was only sold at Costco, so this is interesting. I haven't had ramen in so long because it's really high in carbs and sodium, but I'm here to try stuff. But I'm not brave enough to try the spicy stuff, let's just get the chicken flavor. Oh, how I miss Twinkies. Oh, I want some so bad. And some of these things you'll have to microwave, maybe put some boiling water in, or you might even decide to eat some of these cold as is. The neat thing is, if you pay attention on the back of these, it'll say sell by Friday or Saturday. There's no date. It's apparently just the day of the week. Today is Thursday, so uh, I tried to find the most I could that had Saturday on it, but that's okay. It's still good on Friday. So first I'm going to try this tuna salad sandwich. Let's see how it is. It's a lot of food for one person. I'm not going to eat it all. I'm going to save a bunch for the husband. He'll be home later. It's a lot easier to open these than some types of packaging. So it's on a white bread. Not like a wheat bread or anything fancy. It's not super soft or pillowy, but it's not rock hard either. I'm going to cut it a little bit more just to kind of get a good bite in there. That's kind of what it looks like on the inside there. Let's give it a bite. Mmm. That's really good. A little bit on the dry side, but the flavor is really good. It's not like fishy. You know, some tuna is pretty fishy smelling. So it looks like it's just good fresh tuna, some celery, I'm not sure, maybe some pickles. So I went to look at the ingredients. Uh, that's a lot of ingredients. So we won't look at the ingredients. We'll just eat it and hope that it's just tuna, some celery and stuff, and bread. So sometimes, you know how you get sandwiches and they just pile everything in the middle, make it look like a lot, and they cut it in the middle? But this actually goes to the edge. So that's impressive. All right, so next I'm going to try this smoked turkey and ham sandwich. Again, they're very easy to open, these packages, and it holds them really well and protects it until you get it home or wherever you're going to go to eat it. The lettuce looks like it could use a little help, but it's been sitting in there with the cheese and the meats. The meats look like they put a pretty good amount on it, as you can see there. I would normally take the lettuce off because it's a real thin kind of uh, dry looking lettuce. I like really crisp kind of thicker lettuce, but I'm going to leave it on there because we want to taste test it as is. I'm not sure what that got against mayonnaise, but it definitely needs a little of that food lube. It's okay tasting, it kind of tastes like the fake smoke flavor, but for me it's just okay. The tuna salad was way better. I was wishing they had chicken salad there, but I didn't see any today. The next thing I could try cold is the Southwestern style chicken wrap. So there's that. Again, I looked on the back of all of these, and this one was good till tomorrow, Friday. This package is a little bit harder to open. I'm afraid it's going to go flinging across the room. All right, there we go. It's pretty cool looking. It looks stuffed. It's not like it's just all vegetables. So let's take a look. You got your lettuce and chicken, and then I guess that's, well, again, I could look at the uh, ingredients, but uh, 
The ingredients list. Wow. Okay, I'm going in. Mm. Wow, that is spicy in a good way. I guess that's black beans in there too. Try and just get some of the inside. Let me give it a squeeze and show you. That is really good. It's spicy, but it's not overly spicy. Now, if you don't like any spice, you might not like this. But that is surprisingly good. And the interesting thing is there's all kind of different flavors in there. I mean, just different coolness of like vegetable flavor. The chicken's nice and cool and very fresh, it seems. The black beans in there, or whatever kind of beans it is, makes it really tasty. So I really like it. And there's corn in there too. Mmm. The husband's going to like having some of these leftovers. He's working late. I would make him taste test it on film. But he's going to be tired. But he won't be too tired to eat. We're going to try the chicken fajita taco next. And it says to heat it for 30 seconds. Of course, it depends on your microwave. So I'm going to go heat it. I'll be right back. So the heating instructions might be for the 7-Eleven microwaves. Well, luckily, I only did 20 on mine. 20 seconds instead of 30, and it is pretty hot. So it's... Always better to just heat it some because you can always heat it more versus it overcooking. All right, let's see what we got here. It's starting to spill out a little bit. Ooh, still hot. There you go. Looks good. It's pretty good. It's got a kind of a interesting flavor in there. I'm not sure if I like it yet or not. And I'm not sure if it's cilantro or again, I could look on the ingredients, but the list is just way too long. <laughs> and usually when you have a whole lot of ingredients, it's not really good for you, but this is if you're in a pinch and you want something quick to eat. Now imagine you could eat it cold too, if you're really in a hurry. The tortilla shell is really nice and soft. It's not too thick, not too thin. And inside, they give you plenty of meat, so they're not too scrimpy on the meat, even though it's super thin. But there's actually more meat than it kind of appears. Now, on this one, though, as you get to the edge, nothing. Womp, womp, womp. But still good food for 7 Eleven food. That's pretty good. Still not sure about that other flavor. I don't really see cilantro. I'm not a fan of cilantro, but it's really good. It's definitely fresh. And they make them out of Stafford, Virginia. I'm up here in Northern Virginia, just west of DC a little ways. So it's pretty, pretty locally made. It gets there pretty quickly. Okay, let's see what's next. Let's start with a cleaned up plate so the flavors don't get all mixed up. So the next one is this Old Bay chicken sandwich which I assume is like a regular chicken sandwich, but with Old Bay seasoning sprinkled on it. But I didn't see a regular chicken sandwich. So we're going to give this a try. And it says to heat it for 30 seconds also. But that other skinny item was 30 seconds, and it was hot in 20. So keep that in mind. And I'm trying to see if you heat it in the bag, you know, because some plastics you shouldn't. I'm not seeing that you do, but I guess you do if you can use their microwaves there. You guys let me know if you do this, if you heat it in the bag at the store or at home. But I'm going to take it out and heat it, just to be safe and careful. Just taking it out of the bag, it actually smells really good. I don't think I smell any Old Bay on it, but let's heat it up. I'll be right back. So I decided to cut it in half, keep half of it cold for the husband. There's no sense to heat it and then stick it back in the refrigerator. So I'll set that to the side. And I only did 15 seconds, and it's, it's pretty warm. But it softened the bread really nicely, so it looks good inside. Look at that. And even though they're not very much on mayonnaise, their sandwiches seem kind of dry so far. I see some kind of sauce in there. That might be like a mayonnaise with the uh, Old Bay in it.
The chicken's fine. It's good. Again, it looks pretty fresh. It's real chicken. It doesn't look like it's been pressed and smashed and then, you know how some meat you cut it, it's got the little air bubbles in it. It's actually got chicken. You can see the grain. It is a bit spicy, I'll tell you that. But I don't taste any Old Bay at all. So if you're a crab lover, seafood lover, and you like Old Bay type flavors, I don't think this is Old Bay tasting at all. It's still very good, but um, it's more like it's just got uh, cayenne pepper. Whew, hot, but good. And let me know what you guys have gotten from there, what you like or what you don't like, or if you don't see something here that I can maybe go back and try, let me know. Okay, next up is the croissant with ham, egg, and cheese. And again, it says heat for 30 seconds. I don't think it's a one size fits all, as you can see. Um, so I'm just gonna heat it a little bit, save half for the husband, and let's see how it tastes. If I can get into it. This one could probably benefit from one of these little cases that they put the sandwiches in. So I'm afraid I'm gonna rip it open and rip the whole thing apart. Wow. All right, so you might need a knife wherever you are to get into this thing. Just rip it open like a wild animal. Okay. Again, who knows what's in it? Ingredients list is huge, but it doesn't matter. We're just gonna taste test anyways. Cut it in half. Save the husband some. Let's set it here for now. I haven't heated it yet, but it already looks dry. I would be putting mayonnaise on some of this stuff, but let me go get it heated. So I did 10 seconds on this one, just to be safe. It looks like some cheese is starting to melt in there. It looks pretty good. It smells okay. The croissant's pretty nice and light and fluffy. Let's try it. Mmm. That's actually pretty good. The only thing is the egg looks like the um, overly processed egg like you would get maybe at McDonald's. At McDonald's you can get the, the real egg or you can get the folded egg. It's kind of like that consistency, a little spongy. The ham is exceptional. It is not salty. You can't stand overly salty ham. It's almost got a little sweetness to it. That ham is really good. That ham, in my opinion, was much better than the sliced sort of smoked ham that was in the sandwich. But I would definitely get this little breakfast croissant again. Okay, next is the cheesy three meat breakfast burrito. And this thing's a monster, it's pretty heavy. So compared to some of the other prices, I'm thinking this might be one of your better values. Don't tell me it says heat for 30 seconds. Oh, it says heat for 45 seconds. So that probably means 30 seconds. What all is in it? About a million things. Yeah, it's, it's hefty. All right, let's cut it and heat it. My husband's gonna love all this food. He loves comfort food. I'll cut it a little angle, make it pretty. I'm just gonna eat some for now. That's what it looks like before I heat it. Let's go heat it up a little bit. So I heated it for 10 seconds. It looks like that was perfect for this little size that I've cut out. And it's got some melting cheese going on. It looks like some ham, definitely egg, possibly little bits of bacon. That's what it looks like to me. Let's try it. it smells really good too. It definitely can smell the bacon. It's ultra cheesy, almost like stick to your gums cheesy. It's good, this ham is, is good too. It's not over salted. Again, it tastes just right. It's pretty well packed in there. Mm. Sausage, I tasted it. There's sausage for sure. It's good. 
And look at that ham. That's really good looking deli ham. That's good. So we'll save the cold part for the husband and for leftovers later. You know this stuff's loaded in sodium. I'll probably be blowing up like a balloon later from all the sodium. That's why I'm just trying a little bit at a time. I don't want to overdo. Let's go ahead and do this bowl of noodles. As you'll see in the uh, video, there was a lot of choices of them, especially hot and spicy. But I'm chicken, literally chicken. So I went for the milder chicken version. Let's give it a try. It says, open the lid halfway and what? Oh, add, open the halfway, add soup base. Well, this one's a little bit more complicated. Now, if you guys do this all the time, you'll have no problem with it. But you gotta do all these little things in these certain steps. So let's see how it goes. Ah, here's instructions that are a little bit easier to read. Something about opening the lid halfway. You pour in, I guess a seasoning packet. Okay, so there's the halfway line. So they have a little, little line here. It looks like in there. Try to keep this from flying all over the place. You almost need a third hand to do all this, to hold this open, try to get this little thing to open up. Hmm. Yeah, apparently it didn't rip it low enough. And then if you rip it any lower, the whole thing starts coming out. Hmm, this is a complicated one. Have you guys ever done these soups? So you need like a third hand to hold all this in place. All right. It smells pretty good. Okay, so we're supposed to boil some water, and then there's a fill line somewhere. Where's the fill line? Huh, the outside said to halfway remove the lid, remember? And then the inside it says, completely remove the lid, add the soup base, pour in room temperature water to the water line, which I still haven't found that, about half, one and a half cups microwave for three minutes then it's in another language so i don't know if you put boiling water in it or you put the water in and heat it but i'm gonna i, think I'm gonna, I guess i'll just go the route that it says to put the water in and heat it for three minutes so it looks like you completely remove and keep off the lid this makes no sense in the picture it shows no lid on it in the microwave so while that's cooking in the microwave I dared to go ahead and look at the sodium level for this one serving. 1,220 milligrams. So I will just be tasting it. For those of you who can eat it, you must still be young. But it's weird that it gives you two different types of directions. With the lid, without the lid, pour hot water in, just or heat, cook it with the water in it. Let's see how it turns out. I did what they told me to do. I heated it two minutes, and then I checked it and then heated it another minute. So that'd be about right. But who doesn't like ramen? I mean, really, I am hoping it'll be good. I have high hopes for it. I know some people like their noodles really kind of chewy, but I kind of like them tender. Oh, wait, wait, I think I found a tiny piece of chicken in here. It's right there. Tiniest piece of chicken I've ever seen. I figured being it's all dehydrated, it probably would blow up like a balloon. Let's take a closer look at this little piece of chicken here. Ooh, that's a lot of chicken. I'm afraid to try it. It doesn't even look like chicken. I'm not sure what it is. Let's try it first. Might as well. It's as scary as it looks. I don't know what that was. I think it was a, a little bit of a mix of rubber ball and plastic. Maybe some paper mixed in there. I'm afraid to try the rest, but I'm going to because that's what we're there for. Oh, and here's some corn. I see some corn in here. That's so funny that they call it chicken. Oh, wait, I see another little baby piece of chicken that I won't be eating. 
All right, so I'm eating it with a fork because it's so hot. I just want to try the noodles first, then I'll get a spoon and try the flavors. Ooh. Oh, it just smells like, uh, it smells like chemicals. So I'm going to try it though, because that's what I'm here for. Pray for me. <laughs> Okay, the noodle itself doesn't disappoint. And the flavor kind of cooked into the noodle a little bit. So that's pretty good. So it's not a total disaster. Let's get a little spoon and try the broth. It's got like a little green onion thing in here. So, I mean, it kind of looks good. The broth looks okay. I would show you, but I'm afraid I'll spill it, get into the camera. Hmm. It tastes a lot like like Campbell's canned soup a little bit, but more chemically flavored. And it's okay. I'm not sure why it's got so much sodium in it. Cause it's not like super salty, but I guess that's supposed to enhance the flavor if it's got MSG or whatever. It does say though, if you're worried about cooking it in the plastic, it claims that it's PBA free. So I think that's why it's supposed to be safe to microwave. But um, I mean, this, the, it's, it's not bad. I just wouldn't eat the chicken out of it. I'll even save this and let the husband taste test it. I'll put it in the fridge and reheat it. But the noodles are good. The noodles aren't bad. Okay, so we're gonna let this cool down. And I saw this. I think I've heard of Andy Caps before. Have you guys tried these? They had four or five flavors and all the other ones were hot and spicy hot, super hot. So this one just said cheddar fries. So I'm gonna give it a try. Don't, I mean, it smells a little bit like cheddar cheese. Let me open this up all the way. I know I keep saying it though. It smells more like chemicals than anything. They look really good though. Look at them. Little crunchy things. Oh, you want to know what's in it? <laughs> there you go. Don't look. All right, here we go. It looks amazing. It kind of looks like a, almost like a soft Cheeto. Mm. Okay. Wow. It's so good, I gotta try two at a time. It's much like a Cheeto. It's got like an oniony flavor. Not sure I'm getting a lot of the cheddar, but you know, like, like Cheetos, it has a little bit of that cheesy flavor. Okay. This is my favorite thing today. This is delicious. Mmm. I know now this is good for you, and I don't normally eat like this anymore now that I'm older, but you guys, especially if you have kids, I don't know, you gotta try them. Maybe buy them for the kids and then eat them all before they, they get to them. That's probably what would happen. Maybe like if you're, you know how they say in McDonald's, you're on your way home, you're eating all the fries and there's nothing left. That's probably how it'd be if I was bringing it home to a family. And my husband's gonna eat like a junk food king tonight when he gets home. He's gonna like this. If you like these kind of videos, it would be a huge honor to have you subscribe and maybe even you could hit that little thanks button down there. I'm a small fry. It'll help me pay for all this stuff and thanks for watching. <laughs>